up everybody i'm here on appalachian mountain version 2 today and i've got my loader that i had up there at the uh, sawmill loaded up i'm headed down to the shop i'm gonna sell this thing because we got a new one to check out and it's actually by the maker of this map so we'll head on down there and check that out i'm gonna sell this one which i guess i really could have sold it back there but I'm not sure if this map has a sell point or not. I'm going to have to go look and see. If so, we'll get a little bit more money for it by uh, selling it at the shop. Whoa, this truck's getting a little fast. Yep, there's where we've been logging at. Just I wanted to keep it close to the saw, uh, the first sawmill, and the other one's got the wood chips. Keep it close. We don't have to worry about uh, driving the logs too far. Yeah, I'm thinking this map doesn't have a uh, designated sell point, so I'm just going to go ahead and just sell it from here. Go to the garage and sell that. And I'm going to leave the bucket. I'm trying to remember if I... Let's see, did I have any... Pa yeah, there's a pallet fork right there. Okay, good. So let's get back over to here. And we can leave that there and we'll buy the new one. This is a John Deere 524K and this was modded by Beardshot Modding and Gaming. Uh, I don't know who else had a part of that. I didn't. I didn't look to see, but I, I do know that it's. It was put out by. Uh, yeah, so you can see right there, Beardshot Gaming. So it's got his logo on there. But it's a pretty cool mod. Uh, it's a really nice wheel loader. Uh, but the cool thing about it is, uh, well, it's really detailed for one thing. But check this out when I hit the gas. <laughs> Got a got a little uh, black smoke come out of there. Now let's see, does this have an attacher? It may have something, but I was, I was thinking we could grab the work light over there, but I'll come back for it later. Well, I've been playing uh, Pacific Inlet a little bit, getting ready for in the next high-speed logging video. 
I've got four hours, well, I think about four hours uh, gameplay recorded, so about 16 more hours to go, <laughs> and I'll put together the uh, High Speed Login number six video. And that'll, that'll pretty much move us along on uh, Pacific Inlet. If you recall, we were near the sawmill at that first uh, landing on the left as you're kind of going north on that right-hand side road. And uh, my goal with high speed logging number six is to get all of that area that we had started cutting, Got a, we, we kind of cut a block out and then I was working on the interior of the block, kind of getting it cut down and hauled up a little bit and I was, um, I'm hoping to get the rest of that block completely cut and hopefully skid it up there as well. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do all of that, but I'm certainly working fast. I, I put on some uh, some high, high intense music <laughs> while I'm playing. Kind of gets me motivated to play fast. So hopefully we'll get it all done. And we got our. Um, flatbed they're all ready to go for the pallets whenever they start coming out I think it was last video that we had just gotten that going so it, I think I saw I see some pallets over there already uh, some well I call it lumber it's not I mean I guess it's a pallet of lumber but <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty cool mod I mean it's got you know it, it uh, gives you your speed in there uh, I'm not sure. I can't really see what all those little numbers do, but it's got some little a little button pad and some other stuff. It's real detailed. I mean, that's, that's what I like about these kind of mods is all the details put into them. And of course, my camera still goes crazy. I'm I'm using Joy the Key for some things, and for some reason, Joy to Key just decides to make the camera go crazy whenever I'm doing anything like a wheel loader. Uh, well, I guess it's mostly the wheel loader that causes the problem. And let's see, are we ready to grab this one? Is it 100%? Well, I wonder why that's like that. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, so, so we're starting on pallet number two, so we are ready to grab this one. Just wanted to make sure before I took it away. Yeah, I thought I thought it was good, but Well, I don't really have that on there very good. I was hoping to... I guess it doesn't want to uh, slide down. And the camera, unfortunately, won't go up all the way up, so I can't see what, what I'm doing, really. I gotta look at it from the side. Can't really tell if I'm getting lined up good or not. There we go.
And I'll just go ahead and grab these wood chips from here and throw them in there. It's not that many, but just go ahead and get that kind of cleaned up. I wish I could grab these over here. I may be able to get them. Yeah, I got a, got a, some of them. Ah, it's glitching out again, though. See, I've had this problem before where when I got too close to the sides or something with a wheel loader, it really wanted to glitch out bad. All right, so that's full. And I guess we'll just kind of, well, I guess I'll just kind of park it. Eh, it's, oh, that camera's going crazy. I'll just kind of park it right there. So be ready for some more wood chips whenever they come out. So I think we'll have more wood chips before we'll have a pallet. <laughs> well, maybe, I don't know. This, making those pallets sure seems slow. I mean, um, I mean, look at all these logs we still got over here on this thing. I mean, there's tons of them. I mean, we've already made one pallet plus, and then there's something else here. I'm not exactly sure what that does. I will have to try and see what that, that does later. Maybe if somebody knows, you can leave a comment or something. I, I haven't really messed a whole lot with the... Uh, this particular sawmill, I know some of them just spit out the um, the pallets of lumber and don't do that other thing, so I'm not sure what that is. And let's see, I'm not going to drive this all the way back down to the shop. I'm just going to park it over here because there's really no not much of a reason right now to be going up and down this road, so I'm just going to park it right there. And let's see... Let's get back over here to our operation and see what's going on. I'd already forgotten. Oh, I know what I what I need to do. I, I've already forgotten about that. I I sold well, not sold, but I just it disenabled this. I, I deactivated <laughs> the IMT cable skitter we had. I'm gonna get that John Deere because I don't think that was out at the time. Whenever um we started this map, I really like this this John Deere 548 cable skitter. This one right here. And I think we're close enough that I can just go ahead and drive it over there. We're not really that far away. It took you quite a while to cut down all the trees on this map. I mean, I've been going at uh, Pacific Inlet now for, gosh, I don't know, I guess over a year. Of course, I don't, I don't play it every day, but I, I would hate to even guess how long it would take to cut down this map. Probably, probably take me three or four years. And let's see, yeah, that's all our stuff right over there. I'm going to take a cut, uh, shortcut up through here. And I think we'll need to be cutting down some more trees. I didn't see any on the ground. Get a few more trees cut. Oh, and in case you're wondering, um, I did do a good bit of cutting on the Pacific Inlet. And like I said, I'm working on high speed logging number six video. Uh, we're trying to cut down all of Pacific Inlet. And in case you're wondering, so far I have cut down over 9,000 trees. And that's that's not that's not that's not made up. That's not a joke. That is real fact. <laughs> I looked it up. Uh I think it was just last night or yesterday I was playing a little bit on Pacific Inlet 
getting another uh, hour of gameplay recorded for uh, Pacific Inland. And I looked to see, because I hadn't looked in a while, and I was, I was a little surprised, because I think the last time I checked, I was still in the 8,000s, and then I looked, and I was like, golly, we're up to 9,000 trees cut already. Yeah, I've done quite a bit of work over there on Pacific Inland. I think, think I'm up to, um, as far as like number of hours, I think I'm up to 280 something hours on Pacific Inland. Which of course is the most for me. I don't, I've never played a map that long to get that many hours. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm just about certain that that's the longest I've ever played one map. Because just as soon as it came out, you know, I started playing it. And then that's when I had the idea of trying to completely cut down the whole map. And I was keeping track of the load counts. Uh, unfortunately, I kind of... Well, I may have messed that up just a little bit because on... Pacific Inland, of course, there's different size trees, and those smaller trees, I just got to where I was having such a problem dealing with them. You know, I was using a grapple skidder at the time, and it's hard to um, uh, grab those things sometimes, and even the processor has problems grabbing them uh, and to, you know, to cut them up into lengths. So I was like, well, I'll just I'll just chip those up and won't worry about... Um, you know, skidding them and processing them and all that stuff. And but where I messed up was, uh, I, I guess. Well, I mean, there's, I guess there's no guessing, but they're they're part of the low count. And it's just where I'm trying to get at. And and I haven't been keeping a, a track of wood chip loads that were based off of those small trees, which I guess would be just about all of them, because the only other time I wood chip is if I get you know the cut off ends of logs or something like that I'll throw those in a wood chipper oh well now right in front of me in case you're not familiar with this map or didn't uh, you know didn't see the last video where I did a basically a map review plus getting started with this map right in front of us is the wood chip area uh, the red truck you see parked there is right next to the wood chip. Uh, we'll call it wood chip facility. And uh, you can throw pretty much about half a tree length in there and it'll chip it up. And um, There's a big wood chip storage area too. Oh, I thought I was running over something. There's a big wood chip storage area in there. And we'll take a look at that in a minute. So I do want to try to fill that up. I think that'd be pretty cool. I always like it whenever maps include a big wood chip storage area. I think it's just fun to drive the trailer in there and dump the wood chips in and watch it fill up and then use a bulldozer to, you know, level it off or push the pile. That's what I liked about, um, See what map was it? Ridgecrest. Ridgecrest had a big wood chip storage area. Unfortunately, though, um, when they made the map, they messed up and didn't get the tip collision right, and you could only tip uh, or, or dump wood chips into part of the area, not the whole thing. So that that kind of stunk. Because I was I was counting the number of uh, thousands of liters it was going to take to fill it up, and then I got to a certain point and the Wood chips wouldn't even tip in there, wouldn't dump. I was like, man, well, <laughs> that kind of sucks. So I was counting on trying to fill it up and see what it would take. And uh, in case you're wondering about the Ridgecrest map, uh, they put out, you know, the original Ridgecrest, and they're working on a an updated version of that where they've actually got, I don't know if you've seen, like, at paper mills and stuff where they accept wood chips. Sometimes the trucks will drive up onto a big ramp, and then the 
the whole ramp will lift up and the wood chips fall out the back of the trailer and the truck goes up the ramp, you know, with it. That's, if you've ever seen that kind of situation, they're working on one of those and I don't know where they're at because I haven't seen an update in quite a while. Um, so I'm not sure if they're still working on her or if, or if uh, they ran into problems and had to stop or what, but I think it also has a big wood chip storage area. I was really looking forward to that updated version, but like I said, haven't seen anything about it lately. I know somebody else associated with the Ridgecrest map maker was working on the ramp and all that for the wood chips. I just don't know where they're at. I follow their Facebook page, but pretty much all they've had lately on the Facebook page is uh, some truck they're working on, which I don't care for those kind of trucks. It's a Scania or something like that. I don't know. I don't, don't, even, don't even know what that is. I mean, some kind of Canadian or European truck or something, but it's uh, it's a cab over type truck. And I just I don't care for those really. I mean, some of the American style cab overs are pretty cool, like the Kenworths and you know trucks like that. But those European or Canadian style trucks, I just don't care for those kind of things. All right, we'll cut a few more trees and then we'll uh, get some cut up and drive them just up the way there to the wood chip and get those chipped up. And I was kind of thinking that I had cut more trees in this area, but maybe I didn't. It's been too long now since I played. I was looking right before I started recording. Uh, the last time I played this map and saved it was, I think it was February the 2nd. It's uh, more than a month later now, so it's, it's been a while. I can't remember uh, what all I did and didn't do. Let's get us one more little pile of logs here and then we'll work on getting them skidded up. Well, that one tree hit the other tree and they kind of just shot apart. The one thing that is nice about this map is the trees are all at the right height, so whenever you cut them, they don't leave stumps. Uh, although that's not terribly realistic, it is nice, and I have to worry about. Uh, especially when you got a cable skitter, is uh, those trees dragging along the ground and you hit a stump and then either your skitter comes to a complete stop or uh, the trees go scattering everywhere and you got to hope that they regroup or do something to get them back in line. And in case you're wondering, the way you do that is when you're making the map, you have to place the trees on the terrain. And uh, 
really the way to do it is to have a transform group for all the trees place all the trees in that one transform group at the terrain level and now provided you didn't make any changes to the terrain after you uh, originally started placing the trees and what you do is you select that transform group and just lower it a bit and the the because you you can't cut a tree uh, like say it was exactly like the bottom of the tree was exactly at the ground level you can't cut it exactly at the ground it's there's a little bit of a area there where it's it'll leave a stump you've probably seen on some of my other videos where um, I had to cut trees up high to just well for one thing just to make them cut so yeah that's that's how you do it there I've been learning a lot about making maps, that's for sure. I've been working on one in case you missed it. I hope to have it out by the end of the month. I th maybe sooner. We'll, s we'll see. But the way I did it isn't exactly the way I wanted to do it, but it's, it's working out. And I think these are the big trees too. I don't think these are uh, pine number fours. I think these are all pine number fives. So they're all big trees. Let's get a few of these cut here. We might need some room to maneuver or something. And the good thing about cutting close to the processor is I can drop them right here. I'll be able to grab them with the processor. I just wanted to mention this. I don't have any affiliation with this person, but I do have a, a good YouTube channel for you to check out if you're interested in logging or forestry or anything like that. Mostly logging. Sometimes some other stuff, like uh, he's got a John Deere tractor and he does all kind of stuff with it. But if you want to go find a good YouTube channel to watch that's got forestry and logging, uh, and it's family friendly. Go check out Cotton Top Three. That's uh, C O T T O N. I think it's just three. Cotton, uh, the number three. Anyway, you should be able to find him. Or you can check on my my YouTube channel here, and I should have a link over there on the right hand side. Of, I think it's uh, either favorite channels or suggested channels or something like that. I forget what it's that what is that now or how it's set up but anyways it's, it's a cotton top three you go check him out he puts up videos every day and it's all about uh, mostly about his logging operation uh, he has a John Deere um, processor and a grapple loader uh, he's got Tiger Cat skitters he's got a 630 and a 635 and they had a John Deere 748, I think. I'm not sure if they still got that or not. They may have sold it. Uh, then they got uh, a Tiger Cat Fella Buncher, which is the uh, 830. They got one of those. That's pretty cool stuff. I mean, a lot of times he'll uh, have the little GoPro camera or something in the in the uh, cab with him in the tractor, and you can see the same loading the truck or cutting down some trees or skidding them or something he's always got something going on but it's a uh, it's a good channel go check that out all right so that should be enough trees cut down me uh, let's see I need to park this thing out of the way I'm 
gonna go ahead and hop in the skitter. And we're not going far, but I'm going to go ahead and drop them off right here. Let's see, let's double check the length, uh, five meters, that's good. What's nice about this mod is uh, whenever you hop out of the machine and come back, it's usually ha it still has the same cut length in there. I want to say that the, uh, I, wanna, I think this is right, that the uh, Ponzi Scorpion, it resets every time. And let's see, we won't need that. Well, we're just doing wood chips, but I don't, I don't like uh, loading up those little small ones. They're hard to grab and end up causing a problem in the load. I'll try to fix that with the grapple loader. I'm sometimes not very good at making my pile nice and neat, but that sure does help whenever you start loading. If you make your pile right here as nice and neat as possible.
All right, yeah, I was just looking at this. Um, yeah, the, the only thing I don't like about this, I mean, this is a nice setup here like this, but the only thing I don't like about it is this front bunk is seven meters and these back ones are set up more for fives. So you gotta cut two different piles. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I've got a, another little setup we're gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna get this, uh, well, let's see, Mario Forestry, I'll go ahead and grab it. This, um, this setup here, this one, is by Bandit Booker Modding. Let's see, I was gonna, I think, I'm, I'm trying to remember how this how this works. I think this one, well this one's the back one, so we don't really want a headache rack on that one. And then this other one is the front one, and we do want a headache rack on that one. I think that's the way it works. Oops. Then we'll need a truck. And the truck I'm going to go with is actually by... Uh, I was talking about Ridgecrest. Or I think I think this is Ridgecrest here. Zombie Dog. I think they, they now, they're now some other uh, group. But I think it's the same map. Alright, so let's see. Did we get one? Yes, we got what we want. Okay, good. So I did want I did want the headache rack on this front one. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. Well, I guess I got it mixed up again. I was thinking that this one Wait, no, I guess I did get it right. I mean, hold on a second. Maybe it didn't, uh, maybe I didn't, it either didn't see it or it didn't go back far enough. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, yeah. So I got it right. I thought I, I, thought I had it right. There we go. Now we got it. Now see this one's set up to hold all five meter logs. We got one, two, three bunks of five meter logs. And if we wanted to, we could hook up one more trailer, but I don't think it's necessary at the moment. Maybe later we can upgrade it to three trailers. <laughs> maybe, maybe we're on the other side of the map and we need to haul a bunch at one time and get another trailer going. But I like this trailer because uh, it's really stable. Uh, when you got a bunch of logs on there, it doesn't really bounce around too much unless you're really on a sharp little curve or something, and it's got a dip to it or something. But these tr these these uh, tires are pretty wide set on here, so it doesn't uh, it just gives a real steady feel to it. I know this is kind of ridiculous. We're not going very far, but I'm going to go ahead and load it up. It may not have enough. And we got enough trees on the ground. Just may not have enough uh, here in the stack. Oops. Well, hard to tell sometimes how close you are. Yeah, 
And of course, just got to be real careful too. And I forgot that I was using this uh, Tiger Cat grapple loader. This isn't really my favorite. Only because, I mean, I like the model, but it's, it's kind of jerky. Like, whenever I go to close the grapple, well, it's not really doing it now, but it's, it's kind of jerky a bit at times. It does handle a good many logs at one time. Now I think actually it's better than, uh, well, I don't know if I'm, I'm, maybe I shouldn't say better, but it's as it, at least is equal to uh, FDR's grapple loader in terms of uh, number of logs that it can pick up at one time. Yeah. And we had one log kind of get away. I wonder if I can carefully fix that. <laughs> Well, these logs aren't cooperating too good. I think it's this grapple loader. I may have to switch back to something else. It's, I don't know, it just seems a bit jerky. I don't know if it's... 
the mod itself or if it's just not reacting well with these logs or the game or what. Yeah, see I try to grab something and it just it's like it closes super fast. Yeah, that's not gonna work. It's slipping out too. Yeah. I might have to swap this grapple loader out. I don't particularly care for it. I mean I like it, but you know, it just doesn't operate very good. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and lock this down. We, we didn't get a full one this time, but we'll go ahead and take them up there. And I don't know why I decided to go with the Tiger Cat grapple loader. I think I just wanted to try it out again and see if I still liked it. I think the answer to that is no. Well, I didn't get it over there good. It's hard to judge depth sometimes. Oh boy. This thing has like n hardly any power. I mean, it doesn't want to break loose sometimes. All right, let's see. Let's get this back down the hill. Actually, let's do something first. Let's, let's get this out of the way so this truck can be filling back up. And see, they got this wood chip storage area, which this right here is probably, I'm going to say it's about a quarter of the size of mine, maybe, 
maybe more like an eighth the size. So it's my my wood chip storage area is gonna be huge. Yeah, I'm trying to get my keyboard combination going there. Well, I thought I told it to go back down. There it goes. And I do have this set to automatically uh, tip whenever you got a, a trailer under there that can accept wood chips. It'll automatically start filling up. And then you can come over here and look at the uh, the stuff here. You can see the wood chips coming out. So we got quite a bit in there. And of course over here it shows you how many logs are still being chipped up, which <laughs> doesn't show any, but they're, I guess, in there somewhere. All right, well, let's get this truck back down to the job site, which isn't too terribly far away. And then I think I'm going to hop in the dozer and do a little wood, wood chip uh, pushing there. I've got this, um, this is a cat, part of that cat pack that somebody put out a while back. It's, uh, I forget, was it, was it Lambo Mods? I can't remember now. Anyway, this Cat 980H, I may change that out. I don't like the, it was kind of cartoonish. I may try to change that out with something else. But, um, I'm going to hop in the dozer and get this wood chip pile pushed up a bit. And that's going to do it for this video. I'll leave you with a few scenes here of uh, pushing the wood pile, wood chips. And um, yeah, so anyway, this is Jonathan on um, Appalachian Mountain version 2. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time and check out the wood chip pushing. We'll see you.